It's not the most convenient moment I could have chosen to defend uh, how wonderful democracy works with uh, the recent uh, behavior of our own democratic system. And in particular, you know, um, we're, we're going through this horrible economic crisis and all the, all the Western democratic countries, including, and, and Japan as well, are going through, through very severe economic crises. And, while we ha and we have authoritarian China doing wonderfully. <laughs> You know, so it's very tempting at this moment to say, oh, we should follow the, so what someone called the Beijing consensus, authoritarian top-down plan development. Uh, well, we can talk about this more in the discussion period. I don't believe China is succeeding uh, because of uh, uh, being authoritarian. I think they're, they're, they have had rapid growth because they used to be incredibly, murderously authoritarian, and now they're a little bit less authoritarian and, and giving more rights than they used to. And that, has led to a change in the economic opportunities. So it's led to a change in the level of income, a rapid change in the level of income we call economic growth. That's why we're so excited about China. They started at very, very low income, and they've had rapid e economic growth. But what system really works better in the long run? We look at the, the level of income in the two systems. China is at one-tenth or one-sixth one the, the the income comparisons are extremely imprecise, but China is way, way below the standards of the Western democracies. So that's the long-run comparison that is relevant. And you know, this is very similar to the moment that happened at the beginning of development economics. Uh, in the 30s and 40s, uh, the US was in the Great Depression, Europe was a disaster, and the model then was Soviet Union. And the Soviet Union was the original inspiration for top-down planning and development. So, you know, the people who are excited about the Soviet Union in the 30s and 40s, today they're excited about China. But, you know, you're, you, I'm not saying this in any sort of kind of like anti, instinctively, you know, red scare kind of way. I'm not, I'm not in that, into any of those ideologies. I'm just saying you can't sort of judge based on very short term or even a 20 year term of performance. You judge on the long run. On the long run, Western democracy has, has increased income by a factor of 32, by steady, steady, steady growth. And even in our worst crises, we always get back to the trend. And to leave you on a hopeful note, that's exactly what I expect to happen in the US. We're going through an extremely severe crisis. Our democratic system seems to be seizing up and, and nobody knows what to do. But we've had these moments before. We had a much worse crisis in the 30s. And after the 30s, we returned to the trend and had a great post-war boom, and I expect the same thing to happen to us today. Mm -hmm.